So unfortunately, I was not able to save the previous town for two reasons. One, the Hearthlings completely stopped moving. Uh, and again, that's just, you know, the risk that we, we take for playing a pre-alpha version of Alpha 11. Uh, but also the developers have let out a even more stable branch, so I can't wait to start up this entire new city. So you might have noticed I said city for a reason, and that is because our town name is Crack City. I don't know what I was thinking there. I just, I couldn't think of anything better than Florence, so I just threw something out there. Also, we have a whole new, uh, more c commenters that are joining in, I guess you could say. I don't know why I stumbled so hard saying that, but uh, we've got Noah, Andre, Jacob, Snaz Gaming, Noah... Again, we have two Noahs, Noah Love and Noah Barrett. Okay, I didn't, okay, well, we're gonna have to, so you're gonna be Noah B and you have Noah L, uh, Pro Doxer and then Edwin. So um, what we're gonna do with this town is we're gonna do something I think a little bit more difficult. Because of the, the location that I found this spot in, the more levels you breach, so I mean like because, you know, Stonehearth is broken into slices, and I talked about this briefly if you've been watching my uh, other series, my other recent series on Stonehearth or previous episodes, is that when you move out towards this other new level of the game uh, or this map, you, then goblins can start to attack. And if I move over this one, you know, goblins are going to start to attack because we started here on this level. Obviously, goblins will spawn here. I could sit here on this level of the map and, and not move, and no goblins will, will spawn from here uh, or up or even down. They'll just spawn on this same elevation, I guess you could say. But because what we're going to do is we're going to intentionally uh, kind of build out our town, uh, both north as well as east and west. That way, it's going to be extremely difficult to uh, survive. So we might have people die here, and don't worry. I will continue to add uh, new commenters as well as uh, some of the previous commenters. I, I do want to bring back some of the uh, some of the older people from uh, the previous town, uh, just in case you didn't. Uh, if, if, yeah, so just don't even worry about it. If you were in the part of the previous town, there's still you know I'll probably bring some of you guys back in as well. Uh, you know because we're probably going to grow pretty. We, we had a lot of hearthlings in that last one, so I imagine that we're going to get to a lot of new people, a lot of new people as, as well as some of the old people, everything. So, anyways, let's uh, let's go ahead and slice this stuff down. And uh, let's get moving. Now, one thing that I did do uh, at this start here is, oh, we have to put down a stockpile. Let's put down a stockpile like right over this location. And we are chopping down as well as one of those, what are those things called? Artifacts. It's like a huge statue of like the lore of, of this, this map, I guess, is what we were looking at there. Let's slow things down because things are going pretty fast. So we're going after this final tree. Um, so what I did setting up this map is I actually have immediate access to the trapper's knife. Finally, we're going to get a trapper, so I can get it right now. Uh, let's go ahead and look over some of the statistics so far. So we have Noah is probably our best, best hearthling uh, at a 645. Pretty good. Um, can I switch over? Yeah, Andre's a 512. 112. I'm sorry, Jacob. <laughs> Jacob is a 112. I apologize. Uh, Snaz gave me is pretty good as well. 552. Um, 244 for Noah B. Pro Doxer 133. And Edwin's at 225. So I think what I want to do is definitely probably put Noah Love as the, uh, as the carpenter. Actually, you know, he's really good. Well, yeah, let's, let's put Noah as the carpenter. Let's go ahead and do that. So he's going to be our new carpenter. And let's let's find out who our trapper is going to be. I want to start trapping right now. Maybe maybe Andre. And I, I believe I'm pronouncing that right. I apologize if I'm not pro uh, pronouncing that right. I did look it up. I believe it is uh, pronounced Andre. So let's go ahead and give him a trapper. Yeah. Andre, you want to be the trapper? Let's let's do it, man. Here, you're going to... Here it is. Bam. So we finally get to kind of talk about this, this profession. You know, we... We haven't been able to really talk about it that much because the Trapper's Knife is a difficult thing to get. And I don't know why I didn't purchase it in the beginning of this series, my first Alpha 11 playthrough. I don't know why. I thought I wanted the gold, but uh, I realized that no, I probably should have definitely bought that Trapper's Knife. Also, we're near silk, uh, some silkweed, so we can chop that down. Are we near berry bushes? No. Well, that's unfortunate, but this is still a pretty good spot. Um, I do plan on mining. That's for sure going to be a part of this campaign is mining things out. Uh, and that's one of the first things that I wanted to do is kind of build like a tunnel area. Okay, good. So you guys are still chopping that down. We should probably either build up a ladder or do some sort of stairs. I think I'd like stairs a bit more. Um, let's go ahead and start to construct those stairs, actually. So what we'll do is we'll probably make... Hmm. I wish we could just mine out... Okay, we'll probably build the stairs up here and then chop down this tree just because this is a pretty wide area. So let's go ahead and begin making stairs. And I haven't even talked about how to design stairs. It's been a while since I... Uh, I know I, I've done it before in the past. Okay, yeah, so we're going to need to get a whole new floor. Hmm. And we need to go one block at a time. So I, I'm, I'm hoping this is going to be enough. I'm hoping that I'm going to do the math right here. This is totally going to get just totally winged. 
So I think about 10 would be good. Because uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, about 10 out I think is perfect. So, and then we want this here on top. Oh, is it going to let me do it? On oh, I have to go. Oh, whoops. I have to go here. Don't I have to go here? I thought I did. Oh, oh, I have to go on top of it. Aha, there we go. So then we just, we'll do it like that. Should I, should I leave room? No, let's, let's do, I was going to think leaving rooms on the side, but no, that's okay. Let's, let's just build it out like that. So boom, there will be our stairs. It's going to be a, quite a long time, I think, for them to, to build these stairs, but they're going to be luxurious stairs. I will say they're going to be very luxurious and I want to build a lot of stairs as well. Um... Boom, and then the final one will be right there. Perfect, oh, that worked out. Okay, and uh, that is it. So I'll just click on that, finish editing, and builds. We'll see how, how long that takes them. I imagine it might take them a long time. We'll see. I hope that they immediately start working on that. A Grizzled Traveler approaches. Yes, we of course need that. I'm actually glad that I didn't spawn up next to a basket of berries, uh, although he did just give me some berries, uh, just because it will make it harder, and that's, that's what I've been wanting. I want a really, I want a tough campaign here. I, I don't want our town necessarily. I, I don't want to have a perfectly, you know, non-death uh, town. I, I do think that the deaths, it kind of improved the series as a whole. Uh, I know it's very evil of me to say, but uh, the Alpha 10.5 series was really fun because a lot of those people died, <laughs> including uh, some of like our best, one of our best hearthlings. I remember Kim K died and that was just like a terrible moment. Wow, they're building this pretty fast. I wasn't expecting this to build this that fast. So yeah, we're going to have a nice access to some stairs. We'll chop down this tree, obviously, and then we're going to begin to mine out this mountain. Uh, and I'd like to put a kind of a multiple things. I might even go another level. Maybe we'll put something up here. Uh, maybe I'll go straight up into this, uh, this mountain and then maybe put a little structure here, a little tall tower or something like that. But yeah, we're definitely going to mess with levels in this town. And uh, that is kind of important because, again, I, that's, that's how you make it harder. Because if we're if we're having to you know patrol three different elevations um, inside of our crack city, then it's it's gonna be a it's gonna be much harder to handle. Okay, so uh, you guys are almost finishing that up, and I'll wait for the final one. These backpacks help out so much, especially just everything. Just the backpacks are just an amazing new addition to Alpha Eleven. I mean, it's just we can build things so much faster. I mean, there's just such there's just such a huge variety of things that you can do. Okay, so they're taking down the scaffolding, and those stairs looking pretty bad. A that looks cool. No, I think that looks really, really cool. And I'm going to build, like I said, I'm going to build probably another stair this way. Uh, or maybe we'll put it in the front here. Uh, another stair this way. And then maybe we'll block this off with some, maybe a, a wall, like a stone wall. Again, I want to do different things this time around. Uh, not kind of do the same strategies in each each town. Uh, let's move you over. Let's move this uh, little camp crack city banner over towards the side here. Uh, again, like I said, this this development branch is a little bit more stable, so I'm hoping that we will be able to survive a bit longer with our town here. We're going to cut down these trees because these guys are just going to be in the way. Uh, our stockpile is already filling up fast. Again, we're not going to have very happy hearthlings. Uh, we are not going to have that many happy people, I will say that. I guess we could just start with stairs all over the place. Maybe that's not a terrible idea. Uh, and, and before they just take all that stuff down, I'll just you know kind of put the stockpile right there. So that way they don't have to move it that far away. Okay, so now we're automatically going to begin the mining. Uh, we're going to start to mine inside of this mountain. And uh, I hope to kind of play around with the blacksmith a bit more. Uh, maybe going after some ore and, and stuff like that. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. Hotkey is M. I think that's just been implemented to this new branch. Uh, do I want to wait for you guys to finish up? I guess I should. How, where are we going to... I think we'll put it here. We'll begin that there. And let's make sure that we slice through this map mode and... Uh, have them. I don't want them to go too far deep. I'm not trying to get them to uh, dig too far into the mountainside, but just a little bit. Yeah, maybe about there. Uh, maybe I should just have them mine out a room while we're already over this way. While we're already discussing this whole new thing. Maybe like that. That's going to take them a while. Okay, yeah, no, I like it. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do about that. I mean, we might put a stockpile in there. We might keep that as someone's room. Uh, who knows? And then we will kind of... Um, kind of, I think, elevates as well. We'll probably try to mine. Well, we can't mine up. What we'd have to do is we'd have to get stairs and then mine down. 
But I need to be careful with that because that, that causes, that can be a whole plethora of problems that come from mining down, already trying to connect through a tunnel. Might not have been a good idea to do that, but it's fine. It, it should be okay. Uh, and also, yeah, like I said, they're going to be bringing back stone all over the place. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who is that about to commit suicide? Someone almost just jumped off. Jacob, come on. I know it's, I know the town is kind of hard right now, but it's only day one. I promise it's going to get easier. It's going to get easier. I swear. <laughs> Shocked that they were they're already trying to commit suicide already. That's that doesn't make me feel too good. Okay, let's, let's find our carpenter and let's see if he slaps down a, a shop a Workshop at some point some someplace around here. Uh, we haven't begun the we didn't build the, sh the workshop just yet Okay, Noah, I'm sorry, man, but you got no more time to relax You're gonna be doing stuff all the time for me if you know what I'm saying. Uh, let's go ahead and start with, I know we always need doors. I always forget to build doors, reinforce doors, just everything in general since we can build that right away. Uh, build me like four or five windows for now because I know that we're gonna start to build some structures. I'd like to not go for any individual homes. I've been I've been doing way too many individual uh, homes. Oh man, he's already in carpenter level one status. That's fast. Well still, we still need these resources so we might as well uh, continue to just construct those as well as he's going to be using up some of the wood resources so uh, we can use that as well okay so should we build a building first I think we should oh so this is just going to be happening all the time they're just going to be thinking about approaching this ledge just like that all the time uh, and also while you're over this way since you can uh, begin to make a mason for me since we already have access to stone I would like a mason's hammer and chisel that way we can get up kind of a stone wall uh, now how are we doing with the the mining of, of this it's good it's doing pretty good. Now, I don't know if I want to start my next construction already or if I want to wait for them to finish out this building. Uh, yeah, you guys can be sleeping on the floor for a little bit. I apologize. That That's just how Crack City works. I mean, it's that's you guys joined a city called Crack City. So, I, I mean, I don't know what else you guys expected uh, besides sleeping on the floor and uh, having it. Oh, these guys are sleeping inside of a tunnel. We're already gathering up ore. That's cool. Uh, copper ore, so that's nice. Hunk of stone. Tin ore. That's good. Again, to get some re really valuable resources, we're going to want to dig down. And if we look at the X-ray um, map mode here, we're pretty far away from the from the like rock bottom or whatever you want to call that. Daily update. I know we did not pass this. Yes, we have no food. Um, there are some berry bushes over this way, but I don't think I'm going to have my townspeople go all the way out there for those berry bushes. If I want to play it really risky, I'll go even down to this level, uh, and I'll expand my town out that much. Uh, again... We are really putting... I mean, that's kind of what I want to do, though. So maybe I will do that. I kind of want to have a very... Um, maybe deadly town. I want it to... I don't want it to be like a breeze as the last two videos have in The last two series, is, I guess. This is technically still a part of the Alpha 11 series, but a last two campaign, last two cities, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so when this guy wakes up, we should be finishing up the town soon. Um, I might... You know, I'll keep the stockpile here for now. But... Um, and also, before I forget, Noah... Go ahead and start to construct me some fences, because I love my fences. I love my fences, and I also love my lights. Uh, I'm not going to use them as much, because I, I build them too much. I use the same strategy too much, I think. Um, make sure we build a sword soon. Uh, we can build a, shrip, uh, a shepherd's cook or crook. It would be a good idea to upgrade my trapper. Also, we do need my trapper to be doing things. Haven't even talked about that yet. So I don't think... Now, I think it used to be a thing where you needed to see animal life in order to you know have your trapper do something, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case anymore. As long as you send him in like some sort of fog of war area, uh, he'll eventually come back with food. So again, we're playing risky, and uh, we're going to be putting this guy out here, which is going to be a nice old thing. So if you're not used to the trapper, if you're still new to this, uh, to Stonehearth, again, this is the first time that I have mentioned this profession because it's kind of a harder profession to get, uh, I guess, um, until now, Alpha 11, where you can just purchase it with 150 gold. So this person's going to go out there, they're going to set up a trap, and uh, hopefully they're going to find some food, and that will be good. Because uh, we get all sorts of, you know, we get meats, we get pellets, we get all sorts of things. I think I did that right. I'm pretty sure someone mentioned in the comment section not too long ago that you no longer need to actually see the uh, the animal life. Well, we do see animal life here, so if we absolutely have to, we can go up there and, and slap down a, a thing. But we'll see. We'll, we'll give it a day. If, if nothing pops up, then yeah, I'll, I'll build a ladder up this way and we'll go catch, uh, go catch this little fox. We can also make pets now. We can also make pets uh, when your trapper upload or when your tra trapper gets up to a certain level. So that would be cool too. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we finished out the mining process. Um, I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and construct the the regular 
What do we want? Sleeping sleeping quarters. Yeah, we'll probably build that here. But should we build that? We should probably build that down here, actually. Behind the, uh, hmm. This seems like the best spot to actually build it. But I, I want to build something cool. Oh, no. If, if we go up to this level, too, I'll build something cool up this way. Let's go ahead and build the sleeping quarters here. Um, we'll go, like, here. Maybe right in the middle, right? Yeah. Yeah, we'll go, like, right in the middle. We should think about a farmer soon. But, nah, it's fine. Okay, that's fine. We're going to build it right there. Boom. So that's going to take him a while, but it's going to use up some of our wood resources, which we've got too much as it is. Uh, I do need to figure out where I'm going to put all this uh, all this, this, this farmland. I'd like to kind of put it in a better spot than last time. Right now, right last time it was right in the city center, uh, which was probably not the smartest decisions. Um, I do want to start another ladder soon, but I don't think I have enough hearth lanes to start ladders. Good. The trapper's just chilling around. Andre's chilling. Uh, oh, we already caught something. Good. Awesome. So, yeah, I, I was right about that. You don't absolutely need um, you don't need to see animal life in order to catch it. You can just put it anywhere and you're going to catch stuff. I probably didn't need to put it that far out, but no, no problem. And I'm thinking I might want to even have him put down... Oh, no, he's going to go... Okay, never mind. I was going to say he should probably put up, put up another trapper's zone someplace, but maybe I will. Maybe out here in the east, somewhere out this way. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Let's go ahead and do that, too. Just so we can, because I don't know if he's going to do anything else but, you know, trap for us. It doesn't look like, now I know the carpenter, when he has nothing to do, he'll, um, he'll go out and, and I think he'll help. I think, I think I've seen that from the carpenter. Not sure about, that's not the case for every profession. As you can see, like for farmers, they absolutely have to constantly farm at all, at all times because, uh, it's just kind of essential that their job is really, really important. Man, you're building things fast for us. That's great. Oh, we definitely need a few beds right away. So let's build some beds. I think I have enough windows. I didn't check on the requirements, but I think I have enough windows. I'm not trying to hire anybody right now again. Yeah, so like I said, you know, Crack City is not going to be the happiest of places, especially not now. Uh, when our overall morale drops to about three, then I'll think about maybe getting some farmers up so we can fix the uh, food thing because our, our people are going to starve. That's, <laughs> that's for sure, especially because now we ran out of berries automatically like that. That was pretty fast. So we're going to starve pretty fast here. Uh, please get resources from here instead. I'd very much appreciate that if you were as efficient as possible. Um, so as for in this room here, now it used to be when they first introduced farming, uh, I, I could technically farm inside of, of tunnels. They, they removed that feature. Uh, I know that I, I messed around with that a little bit, which is kind of fun, but I'm glad that they did. You can no, you can no longer uh, farm on, like, you know, ground or, or stone or stuff like that, which, I, again, I'm glad for that. Uh, we could always... This is probably going to be, like, a secret passageway here. Maybe... I'm not sure if it'll, they'll let me put a gate inside these tunnels, but a gate would be good, like, just a shelter, just in case everything goes wrong. This is, like, the... Uh, what are those things called? Safe room? Like a, safe, uh, a panic room. There we go. That's like our panic room. That's what we're going to use that for. Um, yeah, I'm going to wait for these guys to finish up, but maybe I should just start building the stairs now. Go out over this way, because I'll probably build crops and farmland maybe here. No, this, it'd probably be better if I go this way. Farmland here. It seems to be kind of secluded. Uh, maybe less people will attack. It doesn't matter. I mean, farmland, either way, it's fine. Did you put up the other? Yeah, you did. Oh, good. So he's going to be trapping all the time, constantly getting his pellets. And actually, this is going to be providing us a little bit of food. A simple merchant has come by. Ooh, but I don't think I have anything to sell. I could sell some of these, or these this ore. I think I will, because I don't need it right now. Yeah, I'm going to totally sell this stuff. You can have all of this, even though some of it's not that valuable. I'm still going to sell it off, and we're going to see what we can get back. Because uh, this stuff, I mean, if we got it by just, you know, barely mining out a few, you know, uh, like a, a few a few squares or something like that, then, yeah, it's, it's no problem. Okay, so let's, uh, wait, why is this not? Oh, do I have that much? Oh, that this is stone. That's why. Okay. So we got 119 gold. What do I absolutely want? I would like thread, because I'm not sure if we're going to get a weaver anytime soon. Padded vest would be good, too, but that's 100 gold. Let's go ahead and buy a few of these. Uh, Alright guys, I'm going to have to stop it right there though. Dang, I do want that padded vest. I might need to sell one more thing. Let's go ahead and sell like this stuff since we don't really need this anymore. Okay, we're going to we're gonna buy... We're gonna, there we go, we got it perfectly. Buy one more of this, 
buy one of these, and then we can give this padded vest to whoever we upgrade as the footman. But uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to have to stop right there. Yeah, we have zero food. That's fantastic. Uh, I'm going to stop right there. Thank you so much for watching. This should be a pretty interesting and dangerous town. I will see you guys next time.